So again, I'd like to welcome you all to our Saturday morning breakfast call. It is March 11, 2017. We are well over a year into our uh, Postcard Networker venture together. Uh, for those of you that have just joined us recently, welcome. Uh, for those of you that have been here uh, from the start, you definitely have seen a lot of changes, a lot of improvements, and a lot of growth. Uh, for Postcard Networker and for our system and, and probably for yourself as well as a marketer, for yourself as well as an advertiser and a leader uh, in our industry. So I'd like to welcome you all to our call today. Uh, again, my name is Joel Brett and I'm here with my beautiful wife, Kristen. And we are going to, of course, start by recognizing those of you that are making an impact in your business uh, with Postcard Networker. Um, you know, we like to congratulate everyone that is getting a check every week, everyone that is getting matching postcards, uh, or one or the other, okay? Um, not all these people are getting uh, matching postcards, but definitely they're all getting checks, and, and many of them are getting matching postcards as well for building their business and, and uh, bringing in new members, either through the postcards, through personal referrals, through online marketing. There's all kinds of different ways that you can do it. Um, and keeping it simple, you know, when you first get started, of course, you just have to put a stamp on a postcard, put them in the mail, and, and you can start getting results, too, just like all of these people. I, I, I absolutely guarantee you most of these people, if not all of them, um, started off by just simply putting a stamp on a postcard, okay, to get their businesses started. And you will notice, before I get to the names, you will notice that a lot of these people are recurring names week in and week out, month in and month out. They're people that are consistently getting paid every single week from Postcard Networker because they continue to mail postcards, they continue to advertise, they continue to build their business. And what happens after a while is even if they don't send a postcard, even if they don't advertise, their team is doing it. Okay, But it does take time. Some of these people have been here for well over a year. Okay, so just keep that in mind as you're getting started, especially if you're brand new with Postcard Networker. Uh, it does take some time. It does take some effort. It does take a little bit of work. Uh, but really, what can be easier than just putting stamps on uh, pre-addressed postcards? You know, pre-printed, pre-addressed for you. Uh, just put a stamp on it, put it in the mail. So congratulations to Stan and Zena. Congratulations, Greg and Twanzel, Catherine, Joseph, Langford, Herschel, Charles, Ja, Sam, Robert, congratulations to Leonard and Jack, Greg, uh, another Greg, congratulations to Christina, Marianne, Jerry, Fred, Pandora, Clinton, Chip, Benny, congratulations Roy and Veronica, Lisa, Katina, Tammy, Richard, Doris, Faith, also congratulations to Jamil and Brett, Bob, Justine, uh, Bo another Bob, Howard, Herschel, Jill, Roger, Alonzo, Georgetta, congratulations, Dana, Mike, Lysander, Sharon, John, Derek, Wayne, Larry, Sean, and congratulations to Brett as well. And congratulations to everybody. If you know if you just got started and you're starting to uh, bring in members and, and uh, people just joining for free, of course you won't get a paycheck yet or you won't get a check yet, but as they start to make purchases for either the online marketing or the postcards or, you know, one of the starter packages, you are going to be able to get yourself on this list. And eventually, as you work at it, you'll get yourself on this list on a weekly basis, like many of these people do. So congratulations to everybody that's building their business, moving it forward. Um, I'm excited to be able to help you develop a team, develop, um, you know, your downline, develop your income. And eventually, my goal, of course, is to help you get full time. Sometimes it'll take six months. Sometimes it'll take a year. Sometimes it'll take three years or four years. But honestly, three or four years or five years or two years of your life working at a business part time to eventually develop it into a full time income, I always ask the simple question, is it worth it? Is it worth sticking with a business? Okay. Sticking with Postcard Networker for the next six months to a year to two years to five years, if for the rest of your life you can just work at home and build your own business full time. 
And to me, the answer was yes. I mean, I started in 1999. I didn't go full-time until 2004. It took me five years in this industry of struggling, of learning, of growing, of developing contacts, of building, okay, to go full-time, five years. However, since 2004, I have never had a job. I've just been a home-based entrepreneur, you know, since 2004. That's 13 years. So it took me five years to get there to achieve that, right, full-time income. And for the last 13 years and, you know, for the next 13 years and the 13 years after that, um, I will not be employed um, because of the skills that I've learned, the contacts that I've made, the abilities and, and uh, what I've learned to be able to do that. So as we build your business with Postcard Networker, um, as you build your downline, as you build your income, I always encourage everybody to learn as you go, you know, learn too, pick up things, pick up ideas, right? Um, develop your mindset, become really a lot stronger than you were when you first started with us um, because that's what's going to be able to keep you full time for the next 10 or 20 or 30 years. Okay, in this industry. Uh, and working from home, I'll tell you what, there really is nothing like it. So let's talk a little bit about some of the updates uh, for Postcard Networker. So we do have a, as I mentioned on the email, a new postcard design. Um, and, I, you know, before I get into the postcard design, I am going to show it to you. Okay. Um, I am going to go through you know, a, you know, some of the different wording and stuff like that that's on it. But I want to reassure you that the offer or the main pitch of the card is essentially the same as what we've been using, okay? Um, we've mailed out approximately as a team, well, maybe even a little bit more, but we've mailed out more than a million postcards, okay, over the last year, all right? Um, and we kind of started, obviously, the, the first month when I first got started. I did it myself. I mailed out about 2,000 postcards. And then it continued to grow, right? It continued to grow as the team grew. It continued to grow as all of you started mailing out more and more and more postcards and your teams started to grow. Um, so we've sent out approximately, and there's been a couple of variations already. So keep in mind, this is not something like, extraordinary that we're changing the postcard design or we're making a few tweaks and a few, uh, you know, a, a few different, um, a few different uh, things on it. Um, but, but basically what you want to know is that as we, as we start to build the business, all right, as we start to build the business, um, we, what we want to do is we want to constantly kind of evolve. We want to grow. We want to have different advertising. There's nothing wrong with changing a headline. There's nothing wrong with changing a, uh, you know, color scheme. If you're advertising in newspapers, if you're advertising in magazines, if you're advertising in um, anything, TV, radio, um, you switch things up a little bit. The core offer is always going to be the same. Okay, the core offer will continue to be the same. Um, you know, so what you want to do though is you want to constantly have, you want to constantly have fresh ideas, fresh things, fresh offer, so that as we go out in the marketplace, uh, people don't immediately always recognize the same thing over and over again. Um, some of the basis are going to be the same. You know, the branding is going to generally be the same. The offer is going to be the same. The, um, you know, w what we're pitching in terms of the business is the same, but we are going to change up a few things just to keep it fresh, just to keep it current, and just to make things a little bit, uh, a little bit different, okay? Um, so just keep in mind the postcards will continue to convert as well or better than all the other ones that we've used. Um, we've probably already had, by the way, I want to say at least three or four different variations already within the last year anyway, okay? Um, so just keep in mind so it's not like, oh, what's going on? Like, don't worry about it. We do this regularly. Um, I just wanted to announce it on the call today because um, there are some, I just want to show it to you guys, you know, so that people aren't surprised as they get a different color postcard in the mail, 
Um, I haven't really changed the colors in quite a while. We've been using kind of that red, white, and blue um, for a little while. So we are changing up the colors a little bit. Um, but again, like I said, that's, that's only going to help us if anything. Okay. Um, we are sending out the last of the current postcards this weekend. Okay. So for any of you guys that, you know, have already placed an order, there's a good chance you probably already are getting still, um, the, the regular postcards. I, I want to call them regular. I don't, I don't want to call them old. I don't want to call them, you know, because they're still great postcards. You know what I mean? Like, um, I, I don't, I don't want to differentiate that way. Just that you'll get the ones that we've been using, which still work perfectly. Okay. Um, and then if you have ordered, uh, just depending on, you know, some of the bonus postcards the last couple of days I've been holding, okay, uh, because we have been kind of running low and we've been kind of, um, you know, making sure that the new members are getting their postcard packages uh, on time. Um, there are a couple of new members that are going to have to wait, okay, but I'll email you guys as well. And so basically all of the current postcards that we're using are going out this weekend and then um, and it's just going to be a few days before the next set arrives okay um, they'll be arriving uh, later on uh, probably near the end of this week so we've got about three or four days where we won't be sending out any new postcards to uh, you know to anybody placing orders but I'll, I'll let you guys know feel free to continue ordering if you want postcards or if you have them uh, you know, uh, we'll send them out the day they arrive here in Pennsylvania, okay, and then it just takes two or three business days to get to you, okay. Um, so we're just waiting for the shipment now. It, it's, I think they're finishing up this weekend, and they're shipping them on Monday. Um, so they'll, you know, usually it's two to three days transit, so probably get here by about Thursday. All right, so that's more just a, you know, uh, just so that you guys know if you've placed an order, and you don't receive it, usually um, we get the orders out immediately, and it's two to three business days. If you have to wait an extra couple of days, not the end of the world, but just so you know, that's the, the new cards we're just waiting on, okay? Um, another thing I wanted to mention, we are now up to 46 days in autoresponders, um, which essentially just means that anybody that joins the uh, business today, anybody who joins with you in Postcard Networker today, will receive automatic follow-up emails for 46 days, okay? Um, so they'll be getting them, they get them uh, every day for the first little bit, and then about every second day after that, okay? So we're up to 46 days, but we'll, and keep in mind, we will never end because I keep adding to them all the time. Every time you get an email, other than the, the, the Saturday morning breakfast call emails, okay, every other email you get, on a regular basis, on a weekly basis, two, three times a week, those are getting added to the autoresponders, okay? So the new people coming in today will actually never get to the end of the autoresponders, right? They'll, I'll just keep continuing to add to them, add to them, add to them, add to them. You know, um, later on, probably at some point this year, we'll, I'll probably be announcing, hey, we're at a year worth of autoresponders, you know, that, that a new person is going to get over the course of uh, the next year, right? And the next year and the next year. So we'll just continue to add them. I just want to let you guys know that I kind of like to keep track of that for myself just to say, hey, you know, we've got, you know, uh, a good number of autoresponders that go out. And that, that's something that's good for um, you, obviously, when you're talking to people is that, you know, some, some companies will have, oh, they have a week worth of autoresponders or, you know, when somebody joins, they get five messages and then that's it. Well, I, I don't believe in that. I mean, really, if we're going to put in messages and autoresponders, it's one-time work and forever marketing, right? So basically, we want to make sure that, you know, we continue to add to those. And we're up to 46 now. We'll continue to go, you know, year, two years, three years, four years. <laughs> People will receive messages from us basically until they opt out or until they join and stick with us. They'll just continue getting messages, okay? All right, um, I am going to run one little promotion too, and then we'll get to the new postcards, and we'll talk about the business, and we'll do some training. Um, this is going to be a today-only promotion uh, because uh, over the last uh, couple of weeks, we ran a uh, promotion for blank postcards. I still have um, several boxes actually that we um, that we prepackaged up for that, um, and I pulled the promotion because it was going a little bit long, but I still have nine left of. Um, 700 blank postcards, 
Okay, I still have nine um, little boxes of 700 blank postcards. So rather than taking them all apart, okay, um, and uh, and you know uh, putting them back in one big box. Um, what I wanted to do is I wanted to just offer them to you guys, to anybody who uses the blank postcards, because I know not everybody does. These are postcards with, without names and addresses. Okay, no names and addresses are on these postcards. Um, they are, you know, obviously the uh, the red, white, and blue on both sides. Okay, so it's got the full color printing. It's got the, you know, kind of the the rough side on one side and the smooth side on the other. You will have to put a label or something like that with the names and addresses of your prospects on them if you decide to use them. And you will have to put an access code. Your access code is just your username, okay, to be able to use them. So for any of you guys that want them, I have nine left, all right? Um, so here's what you need to do today. It's just going to be today only. So basically, this is mostly just for people who come on the live calls, right? So if you come on the live calls, hey, you, sometimes you might get a little extra bonus. Um, because I'm not, I'm probably not going to email it out. I may email it out later today, but um, really it's just for people that make that commitment and come on these live calls, okay, that I'll give you guys this special deal, all right? So for the first nine people only, um, and by the way, if you're the 10th or the 11th, I, I literally won't have any more of the boxes of blank postcards left, so I'll just refund your purchase if, if you miss it. But if you're one of the first nine, um, go to the store, okay, in Postcard Networker, just order 200 blank postcards okay just a regular order there's no special promotion i didn't even bother putting it you know having my programmer go in and putting the special promotion or anything like that because it's kind of a pain to build all that and then take it down the same day okay i just figured you know what let's just get rid of these for people that can use them um you know obviously i'm going to give you a spectacular deal on them okay so just go order 200 blank postcards it's just 78 bucks okay I'm going to send you a box of 700, okay, of the blank postcards. Okay, so if you if you want 700 blank postcards, um, just go ahead and order 200, um, 200 of the the um, blank postcards for 78 bucks plus shipping, and I'll send you 700 of them. Okay, fabulous deal. By the way, for there's a couple of you that have ordered blank postcards within the last few days. Um, some of you ordered like 100 or 200 blank postcards. I actually sent you guys 700 as well. Okay, so um, surprise, <laughs> you ordered 100 or 200 and you're going to get 700. But hey, I know you guys can use them. I know if you're, you know, making that investment in those postcards, I know that you're going to get good use of them and it's kind of exciting to get something special. So anyway, uh, for those of you guys that have placed an order just within the last like two or three days, Four blank postcards, um, there's 700 on the way to you. And anybody who wants um, these, just place an order for 200. You don't have to email me or anything like that. Um, I'm just fulfilling the current orders up until the end of the day today with those boxes of 700. Okay, so whatever you order. Um, so just place an order for 200, you get 700. Okay, good deal, good deal. Nine, I only have nine, though. So if you want the deal, go do it during this call, all right, or... Um, or after the call, okay? Okay, so here's the new postcard design. What do you think? It is a wonderful kind of uh, teal, I guess, um, and gray, all right? Um, and I asked my wife, actually, for the color scheme. Um, she came up with the colors. She's got a real knack and a real eye for colors. She picks out all the paint colors in her home. She does all the color designs on really everything that we do. Um, I actually put the crazy red on our webinars. Um, she probably would put something a little nicer on it, but, you know, so the postcard network are red that you see up at the top. That's always me. If, I, if you see red, it's probably me. If you see beautiful colors and images and graphics, it's probably my wife putting it together, okay? Um, but, um, and she's obviously helped with all of the designs of all the cards, uh, but I went to her and I said, hey, you know, um, I kind of want to change things up a little bit, just make things a little bit different. Um, and I asked her for the colors, and, and so, you know, that's kind of what she came up with. And I think they look really sharp. Um, I think they look really, really good. So um, I'll just go through a couple of the different changes a little bit closer. Um, so here is the, um, 
I guess the the side with the access code and the the addresses. Of course, the addresses are going to be you know in this section here. Um, the access code will be beside the access code. The access code we also print underneath the um, underneath the return address as well, um, just so it's easy to find for your prospects in a couple different spots. Okay, so it's obvious you know that that's their code that they're using. So we changed a couple of different things on this front. I changed the headline. Again, um, you know, the, the headlines on the old ones used to say, um, you can join for free, send five postcards per day, automatically get a real big downline, okay? Um, we just changed it to you can get four paychecks by mailing this high converting postcard, all right? Similar offer, right? We're still just saying, hey, just mail these postcards, right? Just do this simple activity of mailing postcards. Um, and I'm really pushing a little bit more on getting four paychecks, okay, instead of a big downline, all right? Um, people obviously like getting paychecks. People would be intrigued by, hey, how do I get multiple paychecks, right? Um, and, of course, it, it'll catch your attention, okay, the, the way that, that we write that. Um, and high converting postcard, of course, right? Um, people will be intrigued by, hey, this postcard works, right? It, it's, it's telling them that it works. We also put that um, what people are saying on the front of the card. Um, so before we used to have, um, on, on this side of the card, we used to just have the, uh, the pre-recorded message, okay? Um, but, you know, I put, I, just moving some of the stuff around, I kind of ran out of room. So I put the testimonials on that side, what people are saying. So um, they can kind of see immediately, oh, you know, here's what other people think of the, of the business or of the uh, of the postcard networker, okay? Um, and postcardteam.com, of course, just is one of our redirect sites. It's nice and short, okay? Um, they definitely can't miss going to the correct website with that. Of course, all of them are, you know, my postcard networker, postcardnetworker.com, postcardteam.com. They're all pretty easy to spell. Um, I just figured, you know, I haven't used the postcard team for a bit, and it's a very short one, very easy to very easy to use, okay? Um, and I, yeah, the, I just, I really like the color. That uh, teal looks really nice, okay? Um, so very simple on that side. Let's have a look at the other side. Okay, so the other side, I send five postcards per day, and I get four paychecks every single week. Um, so if you look at the actual messaging, slightly different, okay? But it's essentially the same as what we were saying before. We used to say we send five postcards per day and we get a real downline with real people, right? Um, I send five postcards per day, I get four paychecks every single week. Same offer, right? The same messaging, you're going to get a downline with people, you're going to get paychecks. It's implying all of the same thing, right? Um, we're just potentially hitting into uh, a different mindset, maybe a different group of people, um, that may be attracted to that, okay? Would you like the same results? That's no change. Recorded message is identical. It's the same recorded messages that we've been using before, okay? So a lot of the things you'll see are, hey, you know, new postcard design, but a lot of the messaging really stays consistent because it, it's working. It works. It's a great, you know, the, the way that we've set this up is great. Um, one of the things that, um, that we did is uh, we took my wife back off, Okay, um, no rhyme or reason for that necessarily, um, you know, but um, but I think, you know, people always connect with the message. People always connect with, you know, I'm a real person. I, I've heard so many times that um, from from a lot of people that that the fact that we say I'm a real person, listen, this is I'm like you. You can do this, too and make it relatable like that. People really like that. OK, um, and I know I do, too. Uh, I tend to like businesses where I can connect with individuals and talk to other people and, and see them. So I changed, again, the um, the wording slightly. All right. I'm a real person. I failed miserably from 1999 to 2004 trying to work from home. But then I figured it all out, and I've worked from home full time since 2004, and I will help you make a full time income from home, too. OK, so again, um, just I'm a real person. This is my story. You know, I literally did fail miserably for, for five years, you know, trying to figure this all out. Um, and then once, you know, once I kind of, once it clicked, once I started being able to uh, really understand what to do, 
um, and, and build and be consistent, that's when I kind of was able to go full time. And I've never looked back since. Um, so similar to what we've already had, I mean, you can take one of the old postcards and look at it. Um, very similar um, kind of, you know, I'm a real person type pitch. You can copy exactly what I'm doing. You can come on our live phone calls. You can ask questions. I'm here to help you. Okay. And then beside the picture there, and again, we just threw the picture in the middle. You'll notice, too, the... the um, the postcards we've been using for the last year were actually uh, vertical, okay, on the back. And we just changed it to horizontal. So we just, you know, again, if you're trying to analyze this, I know some of you are trying to analyze, okay, why did they do that? Why, you know, vertical or horizontal, um, you can use either, okay? It's not going to make a huge difference, all right, in terms of the, uh, it's not going to make a huge difference in terms of response. Um, it's just a different look. Okay, um, and then we put just a few little check marks because that'll definitely stand out too. All you do is just put a stamp on a postcard. Wow, I supply the postcards and the fresh hot leads to you, 100% automated sales pr uh, process, no calling, no hassles, no fuss. If your member buys 100 postcards, you get 100 postcards free. Okay, so some of the really highlighted things about the system, and again, you know, all you do is just put a stamp on a postcard. That's a great pitch. I, that's all, literally all you have to do. When I, whenever I talk to people, and I talk to some other leaders in network marketing too, and, and they kind of ask about Postcard Networker, they, don't, they haven't necessarily gone into our system or listened to all the training or checked it out. And, you know, I mentioned that, yeah, we pre-print all the addresses on the postcards, and they just can't believe it. What? You, you give them the leads on the postcards. All they have to do is just put a stamp on it. Yep. All right, yeah, that's what we do, all right, and uh, and that's always going to stay as obviously part of the pitch and part of the sales process and part of the offer because, again, why? We need to make this easy for a brand new person. If you've been in this industry for a long time and, and you feel like you can do it better or faster or if you can generate leads online or if you have a big database of followers you can email, great, wonderful. Okay, kudos for you. Use all of those um, things. But if you're brand new, it's tough, right? If you're brand new, it's tough. So for me to give you a stack of postcards that are that already have this, all the sales messaging, you don't even have to think about what to write or what to come up with or headlines or offers or anything. You've already got the addresses. So you don't have to go looking for, okay, who who's going to sell me leads? Because I'll tell you what, in this industry – Everyone will sell you leads. Everyone will sell you leads, most of which are junk, okay, especially in the direct mail industry because most people, okay, here's a little secret for you, okay, here's a little secret, pay attention, all right, most people in the direct mail industry in postcard marketing, okay, mailing letters, doing offers through the mail, most people, do not keep a do not mail list. They do not do anything with their return mail okay, or their bad addresses. They don't put their addresses through um, the USPS system to take out all the move, okay, all the people that move or all the, all the bad addresses. All right? We do that. Okay? We keep, a, we keep an entire database of all of the current members. We keep an entire database of all of the bad addresses, all of the, the uh, return mail. We keep a, uh, a database of all of the moves. So if we run it through the USPS system, okay, to be able to get anybody who moved, we update all of our, all of our data, okay, before we print them, okay? So when we get in new leads, we run them through our databases to make sure that even if it's a, because sometimes you get a new lead, a brand new lead from someone, right, or from somewhere. Sometimes people even type it in wrong addresses, right? And if it's in our database of wrong addresses, we don't print it on a postcard. Even if it's a brand new lead, okay, you might buy brand new leads from someone online. You might, you might buy brand new leads from some company that says we have the best leads in the world, but if they don't keep a, a database of all the bad addresses and they don't, they don't run it through any kind of sorting system to see who moved and who's, 
you know, who died and who, who's, who's deceased, who's, who's not, no longer, you know, at that address, you just you may as well just throw your money in the garbage. Okay? That that's like one of the big, I guess, secrets to the success that we've had over the years is that we keep track of all that. If we ever get a postcard that comes back to our company, okay, and it says, you know, bad address or somebody moved or whatever, we don't just throw it in the garbage. We put it in our database so that we will never mail that person again at that address because either they're deceased or they don't want to receive postcards from us or, or you know, whatever. And if somebody sells us that lead again, or if we generate that lead online and somebody puts in the wrong address or something, we're not going to mail them again. Does that make sense? Even though they're new leads from places or so-called new leads, that's the trick. You've got to keep, you know. So here's the thing. Most of you aren't going to keep it for yourselves because the volume that you're doing, you're, you're, it's not, it's not going to be worth it. You can't, you can't generate enough of a database to even make it worthwhile but we keep it for you guys and we keep track for you. Okay. So you don't have to, Okay, we've got the best, I would say the best out of pretty much all the postcard systems and all the direct mail offers and everything right now in terms of databasing, in terms of tracking okay, in terms of systems, online systems, online training, okay, you name it. We're, we're miles ahead of everybody else. Okay. Um, Anyway, let's let's keep going. Okay, so let's look down here at the paychecks. Okay, underneath paycheck number one, paycheck number two, paycheck number three, paycheck number four. The offer we said was, hey, I get four four paychecks. So of course we want to tell people what those paychecks are for. All right, so paycheck number one, get paid on postcards and leads, plus get a hundred percent free matching postcards. Okay, that's that's a bit different, right? You get paid on the postcards and the leads. And you get matching postcards. All right, so that's intriguing. Uh, paycheck number two, get paid on online marketing training. Paycheck number three, get paid on information products and training courses. Paycheck number four, get paid on any business you choose. And then in little writing below that, it says, don't have a business, no problem, we've got one for you. And, of course, the we've got one for you is your network marketing business that you can offer to your members. Okay, whatever it is that, that you're doing. So it's the, you know, we've got one for you just simply means that um, if they don't already have a network marketing business or, or another business that they want to promote in that um, paycheck number four spot or income stream number four spot, um, then they're going to be able to take a look at your business because you're their sponsor, right? You're, you're the person that referred them here. We're going to display your business to them, Okay. And then register online now at postcardteam.com. No computer. You can register now. So I changed this a little bit, too, because I wanted to just uh, see the difference uh, between this. We're going to do a little bit more sorting on some of these postcards because we get back a ton of people just mailing back the postcards, okay, um, for the free information. All right, right now off of the postcards. So the cards right now, the ones we've been using, say, no computer, you can register by mailing this postcard to postcard networker. Uh, and we get tons of these back guys. And then we mail them a little letter in the mail. Um, we're going to just do a little test because we've done this before. I mean, I, over the years, I've done all kinds of different things. So this isn't, you know, um, it, it's not going to affect the conversion of the card by changing this, okay? I just want you to know that. I want you to absolutely know that. And I've talked to some of the leaders, and they've asked me, hey, why don't you put on send two bucks or send five bucks or something like that. And I said, well, it won't affect the conversion of the card. The cards are going to convert the same because people are going to go to the website primarily, right? Um, but we get back a ton of cards, and then we do letters and mail them out and, and follow them up and stuff like that for you now. Okay, we currently do that. Um, I just wanted to do a little bit of a test to see if we get back a lot of $10 cash or money order uh, payments for priority shipping. Okay. Now I haven't completely figured out what I'm going to do with that yet, um, but I am probably going to maybe put like a dollar for all those ten dollar payments. I'll probably put a dollar into the upline or something like that, so everyone will get a buck. Okay, from a card that's mailed. Um, so if we receive a ten dollar payment, 
don't quote me on this, okay? Because I gotta, I gotta figure it out based on the comp plan and what it costs me to mail out these packages. We're actually gonna mail out a bigger package. Right now, we just mail out a sales letter um, when people request the uh, the information. So we just mail out basically a two-page letter with an order form. Um, we're actually gonna mail out the uh, a CD um, with the business overview. We're gonna mail out a booklet, okay? The color, the full color booklet. So I just have to figure out what the cost is on all that. Um, but I'm, I'm looking at probably putting in, and I'll, I'll figure this all out this week, by the way. So I'll let you guys know by next Saturday, um, you know, what the deal is going to be and how it's going to work. But basically, I'm just thinking of maybe if we just put a dollar to each member or something like that, you know, in the upline, everybody gets a buck out of that $10. We'll just put commission, we'll just make it commissionable. This isn't going to make you millions of dollars, by the way. You know, um, people sending in $10 cash or money order. This will drastically reduce the mail-in um, responses. So right now we get tons of them. We will get less. All right. However, you'll get paid a little bit. Okay? You get a dollar fifty cents or something like that from each one that comes in, and um, those prospects will be a lot more qualified. Okay, that's all it's going to do. This is going to upfront pre-qualify a lot more of those mail-in prospects because if they got to send 10 bucks, there's going to definitely be less of them. Okay, they've already invested a little bit, so we know that they're a buyer, right? And we're going to invest a little bit more back to them by sending them, um, you know, a little bit more material. You know, so we'll send them a full sales letter, we'll send them the booklet, we'll send them a CD. Okay, um, so that they get a little bit more. Uh, get a little bit, they're a little bit more serious, we'll get them going a little bit faster, okay? Um, so that's that's all that is, no computer, you can register by mail, send this postcard, $10 cash or money order for priority shipping to, and there's our address, okay, at the bottom, all right? Um, so, you know, a couple little changes, a couple minor things, again, the, the, don't get focused on, oh, the $10 cash or I'm going to get tons of $1 payments now. Um, if you have a big downline, it's possible that you do get a lot of little $1 payments coming in, okay? Um, it is possible because if you've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50,000 postcards going out in a month in your downline, down four generations, yeah, you might get an extra, you know, 50, 100 bucks. You know, you might get an extra 20 bucks. I don't know, but it's not going to be like thousands of, you know, $1 payments, okay? So don't don't start getting focused on that too much. The the, the big paycheck, really, and, and, you know, I'll talk about this a little bit for the rest of the call, is paycheck number four, okay? That's kind of where, the, <clears throat> that's where you're going to make all your money, all right? That's where you're going to go full-time. So those are the two sides of the postcard. I'm just going to hone in a little bit on this one section of the postcard, paycheck number one, two, three, four. And I just want to do a bit of a training and talk about these again, because I think for those of us that have been in the business for, you know, a year or more, we've been in network marketing for years, but if you're not full time yet, this is a concept that you need to understand and talk to people about and uh, do trainings on and stuff like that. If, if you're talking to new people, okay, Th these concepts you need to kind of ingrain in your in your kind of uh, brain. Okay, this is something that you need to know. All right. <clears throat> if you're brand new and this is the first time you've kind of heard these concepts, it's important for you to just start to think of a little bit differently. Um, just kind of realize that hey, maybe there is a different way of doing business. Okay. Um, so. I want, I'm just going to start with paycheck number four, okay, and then I'll go back to the other three because paycheck one through three really are kind of like supplementary or um, supporting paychecks, all right, for your business. They're not really your business. They're not, they're not really intended to be, you know, generating you a full-time income. Paychecks one through three are really uh, intended to generate you income to fund your business, to fund your advertising, okay? That's what they're intended for. Now, you can use them to, you know, go full time if you have a huge business, but it, it really, if you have a, if you have a huge, a big enough paycheck from one to three that you're basically replacing your income, you better have an even bigger paycheck from number four. Okay, so number four, get paid on any business you choose. This is normally going to be a network marketing company. Okay, that's the intention. Um, you can also use an affiliate 
company. You can also use, you know, really, you know, any kind of business online that you want to promote or any kind of home-based business. Um, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go too far off of the intention here. Um, I've had a couple of people ask me questions about different ideas and different things they want to do there, and I said, you know, it's really just intended for network marketing, really intended for affiliate marketing, something where you can kind of refer people in and they can generate an income, and you can get leverage through those people. If it's a one-level, unilevel, okay, if you're only getting, like, an affiliate program and you're only getting paid on one level, it'll work, just not that well, because then you're not getting paid on the multiple levels. You're not getting paid on the leverage, right? So then it's just a direct sale. And really, in, in our industry, I find that I actually generate more income on the leverage than I do on just my personal direct sales, meaning that when I help other people generate sales and when I help you guys make sales, I get a small little commission from that too. And, and a small little commission from a 1,000 people makes a lot more money than you know, 100% commission from just me, All right? And you've probably heard things like that before, right? Would you rather have 100% of the efforts of one person, which is you, or would you rather have 1% of the efforts of 100 people, which is everybody putting in the effort and everybody doing the work? So paycheck number four, I would say if I had to guess, now, don't hold me to this, but I would say paycheck number four, if you build a successful, and if you focus on, you know, your network marketing company, um, really your income from paycheck number four should be at least ten times the income as you earn in all the other paychecks, okay, all the other income streams from Postcard Networker, at least ten times, all right? The reason why is because um, of the matching postcards. The matching postcards actually take a lot of the income away, um, but they provide a service, and, and it's almost like rewarding you with advertising instead of rewarding you with dollars. So the, 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 um, the cost is that you're not getting the, the money in your hands today, right? The benefit is that it's kind of like forcing you to keep building your business, even on days that money is tight or maybe you wanted to spend some money on something else or, or you were hope you know, uh, or maybe you, you normally wouldn't reinvest your, your money all the time. And, and that's not only just for you, but that's for your whole team, right? Forced reinvestment in your own business, right? Forced advertising in your own business, all right? And if you have an entire team that's basically receiving these matching postcards, if you have 10 people or 20 people or 30 people or 100 people getting matching postcards instead of a cash payment, you can be sure that they're all just going to mail them out because you can't do anything else with postcards. You can't take them to your local grocery store and exchange them for goods. You can't exchange them for going to watch a movie like you can with cash, right? And I can tell you that one of the things that I've noticed over the years, over the last 13, 14 years that I've been full-time in this industry, is that I've always been one of the only people that I've known that is very consistent and very diligent about reinvesting advertising dollars, okay, reinvesting income into more advertising. Even some of the top leaders that I know in network marketing that have huge organizations and are getting paychecks for $10,000, $20,000, $30,000, $40,000, $50,000 dollars a month, even those people I, I, I don't even know if I can name one of them that's reinvesting in advertising like I do and has reinvested over the years in advertising like I do. Now, they travel around and they do their hotel meetings and they take fancy vacations and they buy a new car and they buy a new home, okay, and they get all the fancy stuff, but there's not a lot of them that I know 
that invest significantly into advertising their business. Now, the unfortunate thing for some of them, and I've known some of them for a decade, some of them now have jobs again. Some of them now are working full-time for somebody else again because they, they didn't practice what they were preaching. I mean, they didn't, they didn't focus on their business, and they let it slide. They, they spent all the money they earned from their business, and they didn't reinvest in their business. And what happened was eventually um, something happened, whatever happened. I don't know. It's different for everybody, but something happened in their business, and, and it, you know, some of the downline left, and the company changed something in the comp plan, whatever, and their paycheck went down, 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 down. And the reason why they couldn't recover was because they didn't have any advertising going. They didn't have any new, fresh people coming into their business. So they were scrambling and scrambling, just trying to keep the existing people going. And when those existing people didn't want to didn't want to follow them anymore or left into a new business or whatever, all of a sudden they didn't know how to build it again because they only had that set group of people. They only had that following. And often what happens in network marketing, you'll notice this. You'll notice you'll you'll see this. It's very common in network marketing. A big leader or somebody, you know, that's in a business when their paycheck starts to go down a little bit from that company, they will jump to another network marketing company and they will try to take everybody with them, right? And the reason why they do that is because their company, uh, for whatever reason, or their offer, or their, their opportunity, is starting to decline. And they don't know how to save it. They don't know how to increase it or advertise to, to grow it again, to get, it, to get the momentum back going for them and their team. So what happens is they jump to another company, right, and um, they try to take everybody with us on the, just the sheer excitement of new opportunity, new company, right? They, they try to take them all to the new company to, to revive their income because they don't know how to advertise. They don't know how to find new people to save their existing income or to grow their existing business. And they don't know how to teach other people to do the same, okay? So all of that to say that the reason why we put the 100% matching postcards and, and the matching advertising and the, re, the almost like forced reinvestment advertising is because I need to instill that in everyone. I feel like I need to pass that idea on to you, but I feel like just telling you and just telling other people isn't enough. Just telling you to do it, I feel like it just isn't enough. Just telling top leaders to do it just isn't enough. Because I've told them, why don't you just advertise? I don't know. I don't know how to do that. I, I don't think that'll work. You know, that's what I get. <laughs> right? And it's like, well, I've been doing it for like 13 years, 14 years, and it works just fine. Right? So anyway, so that's why we created the matching postcards. So paycheck number one, two, three isn't going to be as big necessarily because we're kind of like taking that money and, and reinvesting it and sending you postcards instead of sending you a check. Whereas the paycheck number four just sends you clean checks. It's just 100% check. You generate sales for the products or services in that network marketing company, they send you a check. You build your team and they, you know, move products and services, you, you get your check, all right? Um, everybody in Postcard Network or in your downline, your goal is to have them all land into your income stream number four, your paycheck number four with your network marketing company. Okay, that's the goal, is to, is to funnel or filter everybody through to get to your network marketing company. Your focus should be 100% on building your network marketing company. Postcard Networker will get built through advertising. Okay, you can bring some other leaders, you can talk to people about it, but primarily it's an advertising and a marketing machine that's going to that's going to uh, draw people in through the advertising. Okay, it's going to attract people through the advertising. It's going to help build a relationship with them for you through the autoresponders, through the training that we do. They're going to feel good about our company, they're going to feel good about the environment that you brought them to. And then that gives you an an easy way to talk to them about 
you know, your network marketing company. And by the way, this is the other, this is the main thing that I'm here doing, right? XYZ network marketing company. All right, does that make sense? So, all, so don't get so focused on any of these other income streams that you lose sight of the fact that we built this for that network marketing business. Um, sure, you can make a good income from just selling the online marketing training. It's, it's a $50 a month subscription service for members. We have lots of members on the online marketing training doing very well with it, you know, building their YouTube channels, building their presence, okay, building their, their subscriber base, generating lots more leads and sales through that, and, and you're, you guys are all getting an income from that. And that's just continuing to grow and perpetuate. The bigger your downline gets, the more people that are in that. The, uh, the more people that are buying postcards, the more matching postcards you're getting, the more $2, $3, $5, $10 payments you're getting for the postcards, all right? That will continue to grow, but that money really, I recommend that you just take that and you reinvest it. All, all the income that you get from that, you just buy stamps with it. The matching postcards, you, of course, just mail them out when you get them, Okay. And then the network marketing income, as you build up your team, that's kind of your retirement income. That's the income that you use to quit your job. That's the full-time income that you're building, okay? And by the way, you can use other sources of leads to build your network marketing company. You can use other places to advertise to build your network marketing company directly. I just feel like Postcard Networker is such a wonderful place to build a team and, and build an opportunity and build an organization because we have built-in advertising. We pay you for your team using it. We do training on all kinds of different subjects, team building, advertising, marketing, you know, you name it, mindset, all right? So we have a really good base of training. Um, I'm a marketer and an advertiser at heart and team builder. So I'm naturally going to always look for new opportunities for you and your team as we grow our company uh, in terms of marketing, okay? Not new opportunities in terms of other stuff, but in terms of marketing and advertising, okay? To be able to put more dollars in your pocket, to be able to get you more leads, to be able to get you faster, better, fresher, better people, right, for your teams. Um, because in the end, it's growing postcard networker as well, right? So it, it makes sense for me to help you build your downline here. It makes sense for me to help you build your team here, all right? I, I'm not just getting paid on postcards or I'm not just getting paid on selling you a website, right? Um, the bigger your team, the more leverage you get, the more leverage I get. All right? It's very simple. So we're all sharing in the profits and we're all sharing in the income. The bigger your team grows through Postcard Networker, the more you're going to stay with us forever, right? So it's really in my best interest to make sure that you're successful, right? To make sure that you understand everything, to make sure that you, you know, can build that paycheck number four bigger and bigger and bigger so that you're eventually a full-time marketer. And I'll tell you what, it's different for everyone. I can't stress that enough, you know. Six months, a year, two years, three years, five years. You guys probably look at me sometimes and you're like, wow, if I was only in Joel's position, that would be wonderful. He's got all these systems and he's got all these leads and he's, he's got such a big team. Well, <laughs> I didn't in 1999 when I first started, when I was brand new, all right? It took me five years. That's okay. I look back now and I'm like, wow, I'm glad I put in the time. I'm glad I never quit. Glad I never quit on myself, and I don't want you guys quitting on yourselves either while you're potentially so close. Let me tell you one little quick uh, other story, and then um, and I'll let you go for today, uh, which deals with quitting, okay? Um, and, and, and actually relates very well to postcard marketing because I want the next time you get a set of 100 postcards in your hand, okay, if you have a set of postcards with you right now, okay, in your home or in your car, wherever you are, I want you to just pick it up, okay? I want you to pick it up, and I want you to take the elastics off, 
Okay, I'm going to take, I've got a set here of 100 postcards in front of me that I'm doing this with. Uh, but I want you to just take a look and just flip through all the names and addresses. Okay. And I want you to kind of just realize that you don't know who these people are. You don't know any of them. You don't know if Robert is a huge marketer. You don't know if Diane is brand new, but she's very interested in a home-based business. You don't know if James knows three top marketers, but he's just getting started. You don't know if Donna is going to be your next leader. You don't know if Brian is going to, uh, is going to build a multi-million dollar business, even though he's brand new today. You don't know if, what Kenneth is going to do, or John, or Lena, or Helen, or Jeffrey, or Linda, or Joseph, or Kurt. You don't, you don't know what any of these people are going to do, right? Maybe they'll throw the postcard in the garbage. <laughs> you don't know that either. But maybe, maybe they won't. Maybe they are the one you've been waiting for that will help, help you, that will work with you, that will team up with you, that will call you every day and ask you, hey, what else can I do to build a successful business? Hey, can I join your network marketing company? Hey, I've got a list of 7,000 followers on Facebook or on Instagram or on Twitter or whatever, and they all love me. Let's put them into a business together. Now, I only say that to say this. Listen, when I went full-time in 2004, I was struggling in the business that I was in. It was a network marketing company, and I had built it uh, for pro – I, I was trying to build it, I guess, for about a year, and I was trying all kinds of weird things, right? Because, again, I'm kind of the person that's like, well, if that's not working, let's try something different. And I'm okay with trying different things, and I'm okay with investing money in different things just to see if it works. I'm, I'm – you know, I get ideas from people, but often what I like to do is I like to just go for it, just try it. Because then I have the experience myself, too. If somebody tells me something doesn't work, sometimes I like to either prove it to myself or uh, prove it to them that it does work, right? So I, I, that's just my personality. I'm a real problem solver. Um, so I had struggled for about a year in this one company. Um, and I won't mention who they are. They're a very big network marketing company that I was working with at the time in, in 04. It wasn't the original company I started with. It was a different one. Um, and anyway, I ended up running into an individual that um, was already successful in business. And um, I'm trying to think, I think I actually answered a newspaper ad for from his business partner. Okay, so follow me here. So I answer a newspaper ad about a home-based business. Um, I get uh, connected with one gentleman. He introduces me to his other business partner, okay? That other business partner agrees to join me in my network marketing company. He sees the opportunity. He thinks it's great. And he says, okay, here's what we're going to do. Now, here was the interesting thing that happened. He actually kind of started to lead me. <laughs> Even though I, I enrolled him and I sponsored him, we kind of partnered up, but really he knew what to do. He had way more leads than me. He had way more experience. He was already working full-time from home on his own home-based business, okay? Um, and so he kind of like, you know, start, and I said, great, this is wonderful. And it, it was wonderful for me at the time because I was still learning and I was still new and I, I didn't know how to necessarily run the advertising, right? I didn't know necessarily how to generate all the leads, and he did. So I learned from him, um, and really as we worked together, we kind of, started building and building and building and it just exploded. In about three months, three months from the day that he got started, I was generating more income from my home-based business than I was um, than I was for my full-time job. And I stuck with my full-time job for about another I want to say probably another six or eight months after that because I felt like I couldn't just quit my job right away because I didn't really know what was happening. I didn't really I, – I, I felt like I couldn't do it again. 
you know, if he left, I would be kind of stuck with no job and no business, and the business would dissolve, right? Um, so I ended up sticking with my job for about another eight months. And at, at the end of that eight months or six months or whatever it was, I felt confident that, yeah, even if he left, even if he took off and did something else, I knew how to build this business again myself because I learned enough enough from him, okay? Um, so, so, so all that to say, listen, one person... One person with one set of skills affected my life, and one set of contacts affected my life in, in kind of a pretty amazing way, right, in a very short period of time. And all that to say that, yeah, you know me, right, and I'm giving you guys a great opportunity. I'm training you and helping you and showing you advertising and marketing and postcards and everything. But you don't know who's on that postcard who's going to build a huge business underneath you. You don't know who these people are. If they are a top marketer that's going to join your network marketing company and just explode it. Maybe they'll never phone you. Maybe they'll never even talk to you. Maybe they'll just join and just put a 1,000 people into your network marketing company. You don't know. You don't know who they are. And that's why I tell people, listen, I... I'm, I apologize that I can't tell you in your set of 100 who the good people are. I apologize that I can't tell you that this month you may have a good month or a bad month in terms of mailing. I, I apologize. I just can't because I don't know who any of these people are either until they respond, until they call us, until they start working with us, right? I don't know who they are. Until they respond, they're just leads. They're just names on a postcard. But the only way that we can find out who they are and who the good ones are and who the top ones are and who the really motivated ones are are to put a stamp on our postcards and mail them out. That's the only way we can find out, okay? You can also get a list of names and phone numbers and start calling people, but, boy, that takes a lot of time, right? So what's your time worth, right? Is it, is it, is it worth it just to throw a postcard on it and let the system do the work, right, the pre-sorting for you? Okay, so I'm going to leave it at that. I, I just want you to know that, hey, listen, my life changed significantly, hugely, overnight almost. Well, not overnight, overnight after five years of struggle, <laughs> right? But, it, it, you know, just by meeting one different person, and your life can change too. You just have to stick with it, be consistent. It might take you a year of mailing postcards to find enough people to start building a team with. It might take you two months of mailing postcards to find great people that are exceptional people that are going to build your team with you. Okay, I don't know. It might take you two years. But if you stick with it and be um, consistent, if you stick with it and be consistent, you will have success. Okay, You will absolutely have success All right, through consistency. Have a great weekend, everyone. I wish you all the best. Thank you so much for coming. I do appreciate all of you coming on our on our Saturday morning uh, breakfast calls. I wish you all the best. We'll see you next week. And for those of you guys that want the blank postcards, you can go ahead and do it now, and, and we'll get you guys out uh, a lot more than uh, than you paid for. And I hope you guys like the new postcards. Have a great weekend, everyone. Bye for now.